Hi everyone and welcome to this part. On this part, we are going to design the home page or the welcome page. For this page, we have already created a component and we have named the component the home component. If I navigate or if I go to the final version of the app, you'll see that in here we do have different sections. The first one is that we need to have a slider and in this slider we are going to display a couple of movies, actually just three movies. Here on the right we do have the top three most watched movies and you can see in here we are using a bootstrap class which has an image here on the left, the title and the authors let's say and then also a trailer button. Then down here we also have a third section which is called the fan favorites. In here we just have the top four movies. So let us go to Visual Studio Code and start creating all these sections. Now in here it's important to know that in Bootstrap we do have 12 columns of space. So the total screen in here would have let's say 12 columns and as you can see here based on the dimensions we have 8 let's say for the slider and 4 for the cards section. And down here in the fan favorite section you can see that the whole section is taken by only the fan favorites part. Now to better understand the 12 columns concept you can go to bootstrap and in here search for grid. You scroll down in here you do have a pretty clear documentation on what the 12 columns is all about. So now let us go to our app and in here the first thing that we'll do is that we'll navigate to the home component. So I'll just close all this other stuff and then here go to home which is inside the app folder then components and then the home folder. Now let us open the home.component.html and in here let us first create the design or the initial sketch of our app. We are going to have a single row so we are going to have a section where we are going to have the slider and also the cards on the right. For that I'll just create a div. I'll set to the div the class row and in here I'm going to split this row into two sections. The left section will have eight columns and four columns for the right section. For that I'll just type in here div and then you can put a dot in here and then type column on a medium screen. I want to have eight and then tab. This is going to create a div which has a class column md8. Let us do the same for the section on the right. So for that div and then column-md-4 and then tab. Slider will load here. Cards will load here. Then similar to this row we are going to have a second row. So for that I'll just type in here div.row and then inside here we are going to have an h1 tag and this is going to be the fan favorites. Now between these two divs if you want you can also put a break. Let's save the changes and go back to the browser. In here now you can see that here on the left we are going to have the slider. Here on the right we are going to have the cards and down here we are going to have the fan favorites. Now Compared to the view in here, you can see that on the left and on the right, we do have some space and we said that this space is applied to the left and to the right, similar to what we have used here on the footer. Now for that, let us navigate to the app component. So in here, I'll just go to the app component.html. I'm going to wrap the app home component in a div that has the container class. So inside here, I'll just put app home. I'll just save the changes. Now let us go to the home component and now let us update the slider section. For that I'll just navigate to the bootstrap website and search for a slider, copy the code and paste it in here. So in here let us just go to the sliders, you'll search for a slider or actually in here you need to search for the carousel in here, then scroll down. This is an example but you can see that this example just has the slider doesn't have any text like we want it to be because here on the slider you can see that we have the movie title and then some of the actors. So let us scroll down and see for another example. This one has an indicator which is good but other than the indicator we also need the title so I'll just scroll some more and you can see that this one does have the image, does have the captions and also does have the navigators in here. So I'll just scroll down in here, copy all this code, go back to the app and then I'll just paste it in here. Now I'm just going to close the 
navigation here on the left so I can have more screen. You can see that we have three slides, the slide 0, 1 and 2. On the first slide, we need to have an image. So what I'll do is that I'll just go to my app and then here on the assets, I'll create a new folder. I'm going to name the folder images and then I'll add some images in here from my local drive. So I'll just go to my desktop where I have already downloaded some files. So I have this one in here and this one. I'll just cut them. Now let us go to our code. Then here I'll just go to reveal in file explorer and go inside the images and paste the images in here. We are going to use the slider image large for this slider and we are going to use the other one. So I'll just change this to card image for the cards that we have on the right and for the cards that we have down below. Now, as we move to the other parts, you are going to also learn how to inject a service and that is going to be the part where you learn how to get all this data from a real service. And for this course, we have said that we are going to use the IMDB service. So now in here that we have these two images, I'll just replace the source in here. The source is going to be one level up, one more, and then assets, images, slider, large. Now in here, if you want, you can also set the width and you can set the width to be a thousand pixels. Now let us just write in here, let's say first movie, and then I'll just remove this one so it's not so long. Let's go to the next one. In here, I'll also do or I'll also use the same URL in here as well. I'll just copy, paste it down here. And this is going to be the second movie. And we are going to also have the third movie. So third movie. And I'll just make the P tags slightly shorter. Now I'll just save the changes and go to the browser just to see the result. And you can see in here that we already have the slider now. We're going to work on the right section where we're going to load the cards.